Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about a new topic that is basic hearth. How we can able to provide into basic hearth into our local host. Locust. In this locust, basically this is sample API that is get operation. See, uh, in companies they are using for post method to generate heap for art token. And here the sample a uh, demo API due to that it is I am using for get method. Okay, and here we can able to use a name and password. Post and password is the one we can able to provide. Okay, this is a get operation. And this get operation I'm going to copy pasting this code here. And I'm changing for host. and sub code because here also we need to change and in your case if it is post method means you can change to, to post okay and here i am going to change for and catch response because we need to catch for the response and in this case we require to define for headers correct for this headers we can able to use headers equal to we can able to define inside the headers we can able to what kind of value we need to provide that we can able to provide inside the headers application JSON okay. and ending don't forget to keep it one um, then once you provided here you can able to provide those things you need to provide headers um, headers equal to headers okay this headers it will come to here then we need to use some auth auth equal to and we can able to define in the braces and there is a username which is a username we need to use here this name single quotation and comma and in single quotation we can able to take it this password to here and paste it okay this is a way we can able to like this is the first one it will represent as a username and second one represent as a password okay and then we can able to use password and here you can able to see if you hit here it will give us a 200 status code now 200 now 200 and the response i'm printing and i'm printing for failure if it is failure on the right and i'm going to use for this one basic path and i'm just i'm running for this my basic path particular class now i'm going to do here the user count i'm going to use for one and you can able to see the response code it is printing continuously correct and also even we can able to print for the response values which all the response values are presented and here the response at authenticated equal to true right and this authenticated true we need to print the value how we can able to achieve means even we can able to use and here the response start json okay this json method we can able to provide here the value okay and then we can able to print value one values i'm going to use for value and again inside that we can able to define this authenticated okay 
now i'm going to print my value okay i'm printing for authenticated equal to true that value i'm going to print now now again i'm opening my terminal launching now previous we saw for 200 200 printing right now we can able to see for true true because our response data value is true you can able to see true because our having the true condition this value can able to print in case in your case it is authentication token authorization then we can able to print it here you can able to see that authentication token keep on it will print it okay that's all about this video how to pass the basic app token generation okay and next video session we'll see for barrier token how we can able to generate using barrier token how we can able to pass barrier token into a get method okay that's all about this video thank you for watching please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you